Next up, we have oral presentation number 22, Marfa, Texas, which is Mission 13 Flight Experiment. Good afternoon. My name is Colette Folks, and I'm one of the six members of the Marfa Martians SSEP team from Far West Texas. We are from the Marfa Elementary School, a small public school in Marfa, Texas. Our co-principal investigators are Charlotte Browning and Ashley Sir. The other co-investigators, including myself, are Madison Cash, Daniela Fernandez, and Mabel Melgard. Um, our very important teacher facilitator is our upper elementary Montessori teacher, Ms. Guerrero. Also, our science advisors, Dr. Sa Dr. Michael San Francisco and Dr. Amanda Starr from Texas Tech University in Lubbock, Texas. Dr. Marilyn Sanders in Marfa, Texas, our Nano Racks and SSCP advisors, and now on to the important stuff. Today we are sharing our experiment, Eradicating Bacteria in Microgravity. Here's Charlotte to explain further. Um, the science behind our experiment was the eradication of the bacteria Bacillus subtilis. By releasing isopropanol to kill it, the bacteria, um, the bacteria is common and is found in soil, hay, the gut of humans and animals. It grows spores to protect itself, and we're using the isopropanol to kill the spores. And now Madison will explain further. Um, why this experiment? You may ask how we came up with this idea for our experiment. It is because we learned Bacillus cirrus was on the space station, and it may endanger the astronauts' health. Because it was not safe, we used a related bacteria called Bacillus subtilis. To, use this, to do this experiment to study the effectiveness of the antibacterial substance, isopropyl. Our essential question for the experiment was, will, you, will using isopropanol more effectively eradicating bacteria in microgravity than in Earth's gravity? Bacillus has been found on the ISS. This experiment will test a related bacteria that is safer to handle. We will Compare the effectiveness of isopropanol on this bacterium in microgravity compared to Earth's gravity. Here's Ashley. In our, in our experiment, we used a type 3 FME mini lab, about the size of a straw. Um, <laughs> using the power of paper, as Dr. Goldstein did teach us, <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to demonstrate our experiment, obviously not to scale. It's a tube with three chambers, and in the first segment, we will have the freeze-dried bacteria, Bacillus subtilis. And in the central chamber, we will have a broth, which will make, wake the bacteria, bacteria up. And in the last chamber, we'll have isopropanol. To do this experiment, the astronaut will open the first clamp between, open the clamp between the first and the second chambers and shakeity shake, shake, shake for 15 seconds. Then we'll open the second clamp to release isopropanol from the third compartment. And here's Mabel. Um, the results, um, we haven't gotten our results yet because we're on mission 13, but this is how we're gonna get them. Um, the bacteria count will be estimated from the solution by staining it and viewing it under a microscope. We will visualize the bacteria by using an endospore stain to um, to color it so that we may see it easily under the microscope. We predict that the isopropanol will be more effective at killing the bacteria on Earth than in a microgravity environment because it's building immunity in space. Here's Colette again. With that, this concludes our presentation, but before we go, we want to acknowledge and thank the following. MISD Superintendent Oscar Aguero and Principals John Sherrill and Amy White, and lastly, our parents, families, and friends, and the many people from all who have fundraised and contributed not only money, but also words of encouragement to bring us to our nation's capital to be here with you. We have learned so much and are grateful for this experience that this will, ever ha this will forever have an impact on our lives. Thank you. Do you have any questions for this group? Texas. 
why why did you why did you choose to isopropanol to use to kill the bacteria? We chose isopropanol lily because we thought that it would be easier and more effective to kill the bacteria instead of some other usage like maybe hydrogen peroxide. I'm Dave from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I was just um, wanting to see um, what things did you do in the lab to really help design your experiment? <laughs> Re-ask your question? Yeah. So, re -ask your question. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, I was wondering what, what things in the lab did you find to design your experiment? What did you have to do? And did you so we really didn't have to do much because of the help of this wonderful man named Dr. San Francisco. So he really did help us find all the bacteria and got us the good idea of it. And that's pretty much our star here. Well, actually, Ashley, you found the experiment and we wanted to do it because we wanted to help the astronauts. Let's not fight on stage, Maple. <laughs> Any other questions? Good job. Thank you.